Hello, sassy sleuths. Evie Bug here, and welcome back to our walkthrough of Nancy Drew, The Labyrinth of Lies. Where we left off, we had just gotten down here to the underworld. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh. oh, this guy's creepy. Oh, this guy's definitely creepy. Um, oh, phone charm. Vulture phone charm. What does he... Do you want me to give you... Mm, looks like he needs something before something. he'll take me across the river. You want, you want my book? My book? No, he doesn't want my book. Okay, so we have to pay him to get across the river of hands and things. So, we are gonna go... I wonder what this Ooh. means. It looks like a partial section of something larger. Oh, a puzzle as always. Okay, so we're gonna go back up here. So we have to go and unlock the box with the animals that has the key inside of it. So we are going to go and do that right now. <gasps> we got exactly our package from needed. Frank and oh, Joe Heidi. Thanks, guys. Aw, thanks. Alright, okay, so now we know the names of the vases, so that is perfect. Okay, let's see. Ooh, lion phone drum. Perfect. Okay. So we have to do this. Alright, so we have to match the animals with the gods. This is obviously Zeus. And Zeus, I think, is definitely eagle. need to figure out what to what? do here before I try anything. Don't we have a book on No, that's just famous Greeks. What about uh underworld? Ah. Come on, Nancy. I know about Greek mythology. Just let's just go with it. Okay, let's talk to Naomi. Sorry, can't talk now. Okay, or not? Yes. Oh, what? Well, what was that? What was that? You didn't want to talk to us, and now you want to talk to us? Well, okay. We don't want to talk to you. Later. Later. Bye. No, I'm kidding. We do what want to talk it? to you. Um. Do there you we know go. much about Greek mythology? Here, take this. You'll love the myth. They're full of the most amazing insanity. I'm glad we don't live in that world, for the most part. So, we asked if you know anything, you just give us a book? I guess that works. We can take it with us. Okay, so that's all we needed. What do you think what of Thanos? What do you think of Thanos? He's coarse. Maybe oh, yeah. that's good for playing Hades. I don't think he acts. I think he was typecast. <laughs> As what? A monster. Oh no. Do you know much about proving provenance? Sure. I have some materials for you. Here. Wow, she just gives us all sorts of stuff. Well, thank you for all these books. Do we have to pay you for them or can you just take Goodbye. them and give them back Bye. later? Or what? Okay, well, that's cool. So now we can probably go open this thing. I need to match the animals to the correct symbol. Alright, so Zeus would be the lightning bolt, and I'm pretty sure he's the eagle. This one would probably be Hera, I think? I think that would be it. And she's like the goddess of motherhood and stuff, so that would be a cow. Um, this one, probably Ares, I think? Very serious, very serious. Yep, God of War. That would definitely be a sword. Okay, so Ares would be Vulture then. Okay. Um, Olive Branch, Olive Branch, Owl, Athena. Yep, that one's definitely Athena. Um, let's see. Liar. What is Liar? Liar is Apollo, I think. And if it's yeah, it's got to be Apollo because it's a dolphin. Okay. Next would be Artemis, because Artemis is like the hunt and all that. Um, so that would be the deer. And then love would be Aphrodite, which would be the dove. Oh, look at that. We got it right. Perfect. Okay, so we got this key. So now we can open this thing. And get another key. <laughs> 
Thero Tyrion. Okay. Oh, that's probably the password to the computer. This is the tags for the display. Okay, so I'm just going to the base display. Okay, so provenance. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's go here and see if that is the right password. There we go. Okay. So, which messenger? Ferryman. Uh, coin operated, but for obvious reasons, you only react to a replica coin. Not that you'd try to use a real one, but please don't. <laughs> Investigate the sets. Be careful, the flames you see are very real, and much of the water has submerged electrical equipment. Wow. Okay. Provenance. Your crash course begins now. We have three pieces you must verify for provenance on. Start with the gold leaf necklace in the center of the coin display. You'll find more information in the provenance program. Complete the drop down fields, attach an image of the object, and submit your findings. Okay. Let's see. Nancy, I completely forgot to tell you I have a courier coming for the tickets to tonight's show. Once you've assigned the first group seatings, please drop the tickets in the mailbox outside the museum's first front entrance. Any other tickets you assign are will call tickets for the later performances and do not need to be printed out. Okay. So, let's see. The water was up. I need to assign seats according to everyone's requests. Okay, so if I mess up these names, just just forgive me. I don't know how these are supposed to be pronounced. Never met anyone with the last name Vacros. So Vacros doesn't want any prime seats. So prime seats are blue. Okay. Um, how many people is in Vacros party? Gavril and Lilith are the only VIP ticket holders. So VIP, there's six of them. Uh, Vacros' seat numbers are higher than Adamo's, but lower than Manos. Okay. Adamo's group fills all but one prime seat. Okay. And Vacros doesn't want any prime seats, so that's fine. Lilith wants only four, or only front row seats. Okay. Lilith also wants VIP tickets, so VIP in the front row. Gabriel wants three of his tickets, er, three of his six tickets, to be adjoining standard seats. Okay. How many are in Lilith's party? Let's see. Vacros needs three seats, and Lilith needs five. Okay, and Lilith wants only front row and they have VIP, so we know that at least these four have to be Lilith's. Okay, so each seat in Adamo's group is adjacent to another member of their party. Okay, so they're all kind of together-ish. How many did they have? Let's see, Adamo has... Did it? I didn't say did it. Gavro wants VIP. How many were in his party? Party. Okay, three of his six tickets to be adjoining standard seats. Okay, so that should be easy for us because um, Gavril has VIP and these are three adjoining. And then the only three adjoining standard are here. So that should be good. Bagros needs three seats and they don't want any prime seats. Bagros seat numbers are higher than... Adamos, but lower the man's. Okay, so where's Adamos going? Adamos group fills up all but one prime seat, so they're all over here. Um, so if Vacros needs to have three seats higher than Adamos, then they've got to be over here. Okay. Um, Vacros doesn't want any prime seats, so it could be the standard or the discount. So I'll wait, but lower than Manos. How many does Manos have? Well, I guess then we should do, let's see, where's that? Okay, we should do these ones, because then we have some that are still higher. 
that would be okay. Or, how many are Nano's party? I think that means four. Okay. So, we would have to put Manos all over here. And then Backrose would have to go here. Then Adamo fills up all but one of these prime seats. Um, since that was taken, it's got to be these ones. And then we needed one more Lilith. So, let's see if that's right. Where's the... Okay, submit seats. What? Why didn't, why didn't it work? Hmm. Oh... Wait a second. Backrose doesn't want any prime seats. That's what it is. Okay, let's switch these around. Okay. All done. Whoops, my mistake. <laughs> okay, so these are done. Drop these off in the mailbox. In the mailbox. Okay. We will do that. But we also need to do this Providence thing. Okay, Providence. So let's see. Providence requested for a gold leaf necklace. So we gotta go take a picture of it. So let's go do that. So it's probably that one. Okay, let's get our little camera out. I don't know how close it's gotta be necessarily. I mean maybe like that. Got it. Got it. Alright, perfect. Usually if Nancy says something good, that means you got it. Okay, so oops, let's put our phone down here. Prominence. So for the gold necklace, that would be jewelry. Um, let's see, it was received July 2nd, I think, I that's what it was, received by Stavros, current owner, this one, on loan, the golden age? And September. And I think that's right. All done. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna have to keep referring to those files to get. This. Okay. Uh, for the. Oh, this is the lion. Okay, let's go take a picture of the lion. Did we get it from that? Okay, we did. All right. So, lady, don't get in our picture. We have to take a picture of this little lion. Okay. Um, I think probably just the one. I don't think we need the sign in it, right? Let's see. That should do it. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Prove provenance. Okay. So, oh, we have to put our phone on here. Okay, so that would be this little guy. It would be a sculpture. And then let's see the line. I'm gonna go refer to the folders and figure out the date. Okay, everyone, so this little guy was received June 22nd, or sorry, 29th? 29th. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I think it's 29th. It was received by the guy that starts with an M, this one. The current owner was the Costas, some, Costas Bezos Gallery, or Ga yeah, Gallery. Um, and it was a world of gods and heroes. Loan ends in November. Done. Perfect. Okay. Um, Boz just depicting four women, one seated holding a bird, another standing directly behind her chair. Okay, so let's go try to find that. Let's see. Um, that's a guy girl doing something. Okay, here we go. Let's see. There's a girl. There's a girl. And that's probably a bird. Let's see if that's the right one. That's the only one that looks like a bunch of women. I only see three of them, though. I don't see four women. Okay. Is that close enough? That should do it. Alright. Perfect. You guessed the right one. Alright. So let's put our phone down, check provenance. Okay. So the buzz, if I remember correctly, let's look at the buzz. Um, it was June thirtieth, because it was like day after. And then it was the uh, Sophia. Current owner was a really long name. This one. Um, let's see. 
lose a permanent collection, and the loan ends in August. Got it! Perfect! Alright. Wait, what? Time gap indicate unable to confirm provident providence. Well, that's unhelpful. Looks like I'll need a unique password to uh, access the archives. Well then my goodness. Okay. So I guess that's it for that. So let's go do the vase display. Okay, so let's do this vase display. So let's start with let's see. Canthros. Canthros. Here. Okay. A deep bowl with two large, high vertical handles on either side and a stemmed foot. Deep bowl to Okay. Um. So two handles. These three have two handles. These ones are both the tallest. I don't know. Which one? They both kind of have stem. I guess this one's more stem like, so let's put it on this one for now. Um, if that one's not right, we can change it. Okay. Low tro forest. <laughs> um, here we go. Tall and slim with elongated handles. Handles, so two. The low tro forest was used in wedding and funeral rites. He's a tall and slim and two handles. These have two handles. This one's not tall and slim. So I'm going to say that goes here. Okay, so leaves. Um, let's see, leaves. A deep bowl with a low neck. The leaves t typically had neither handles nor a foot and instead was usually mounted on a stand. Okay, so deep bowl with a low neck. A deep bowl. That would probably be this one. Because that one doesn't have a low neck and it has handles. Okay. Lucky, lucky, oh, lucky, something. Um, here we go. This was used for storing perfume oils and typically rested in a heavy stand, a tall vertical handle on the back of the lucky, those allowed for easy pouring. Okay. So, let's see. For storing perfume oils. To the rest in heavy stand, tall vertical handle on the back. So that could be either of these, because these are the only ones with one handle on the back. Um, which one looks more like perfume? Um, well, this one's got a bunch of guys fighting on it, so let's put it on this one with the lady, I guess. Okay, so crater is next. Let's see, crater. Um, with a wide mouth, round body, and handles on either side, the crater was used to mix water and wine before serving. Okay, so wide mouth. Oh, okay, that's gotta be this one. Alright. Oino Cho. <laughs> um, a single, high handled vessel, taller than it was wide, with a trifoil mouth. The. Orange, I'm just gonna call it the piggy one. It reminds me of like funky. Was used for serving wine. Okay, single high-handed vessel. Okay, so that's gotta be this one because this one has like a handle and stuff, and this one doesn't. So that must mean this is this. That's it. Okay, perfect. We did it. We are good at this Greek stuff. Okay, what else do we have to do? I think we had to. Do we have to do anything with this stuff yet? Looks like the temple is already ah, designed. I just have to build it. Okay. Temple one requirements. So it says lofty site to honor the hunt, colorful panoramic band, animals above the cornice, volute ornamentation, and a double hall. So let's start with the setting. So they said lofty site to honor the hunt. Um so, there we go. That's lofty. Okay, floor plan. It's a double hall, so that must be that one. The loot ornamentation, so that would be the Ionic Capitals. Um, let's see. Colorful panoramic band. 
There we go. Uh, pediment. They said animals above the corners. So, um, is that people or animals? Okay, that's definitely animals. And then the god would be Artemis, I would assume, if it's the hunt. Okay. Yay! Perfect. Okay, we got number one done. Okay. Oh, we should probably place that before we forget. There we go. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Temple. Next two. Um, let's see. Fort End. Square Abacus. Bustling Agora. Abstract Gable. Musical Dedication. And... Metopes. Okay, so from my knowledge of the Greeks, Agora is like like city type things, like um, buildings and whatnot. So bustling Agora. So that would have to be this one. Okay, so four to end probably means like let's see, here's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's probably that one. Um capital it said square abacus so I'm gonna say this one because that's more plain than square let's see um, what would this one be oh these are metopes okay so we'll, we'll do that one that's that works for that okay pediment um, maybe that could be like the hmm abstract or maybe it's abstract cable maybe that's what that means and then musical dedication to the god would be Apollo with his lyre submit all right perfect okay so let's put that here oh Apollo's temple there we go um let's see building okay, temples is easy one. when Nancy stonemason drew is on the case is she bragging about herself? Nancy. Nancy, Nancy. Okay, so last temple. Um, acanthus sleeves. Twice as many columns on side as on ends. Sculptured mortals on all levels. Water view for wisdom. So most of this is going to be stuff we just haven't used yet. Like, um, let's see, there's four of these. But this one would be, oh, and water view for wisdom. This is going to be Athena for sure. Then, like, we already used this one, we already used that one, so it's probably this. Let's see, capitals. It said Campus of Slaves, so that would be the Corinthian capital. Um, let's see, this would be... Let's see, we, are, we didn't use that one. We used that and that, so it's probably going to be this one. Let's see, the pediment would be... Let's see, it said morals on all levels, didn't it? Sculptured morals on all levels, so it's going to be that. And then the god would be the goddess Athena. Oh, faster. There we go. Perfect. All right, we got all those done. We are definitely good at this. Okay, so let's place Athena's temple. Perfect. Okay. What else do our notes say we have to do here? Check. That's still half. That's done. That's can't. Still half. Did that. Okay. So we need to explore the underworld. Snoop Zenia's stuff on her table. I thought we could have done that. that. Um, complete Melina's list of items. Where's... Where, is this where the list is? Yeah, okay. Make sure the boss display is properly labeled. We did that. Create the temple engine. Oh, we have to put the tickets in the mailbox. That's probably it. Alright. Tickets in the mailbox. I can cross that off my to-do list now. Perfect. So now, have we completed all that? Check. Yes. Okay, should we call... Melina and let her know that we have finished all of her um, list items. Let's do that. Hi, Nancy. Oh, she doesn't even care. She doesn't even care that we spent all that time and effort. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, well, to get across the underworld, we're gonna have to cross the uh, river, so we're gonna have to give. Let's see, can we not open this stuff? Because we need to give. Um, oh, coin display key. Hey, there we go. Oh, never mind, that just opens up. Here we go. 
Okay. Let's see if I can pay the ferryman with there this. There we go. We can pay the ferryman with that. Perfect. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go explore then. Let's let's do that. Maybe we should see if Zini is gone. Uh, she's not. I need a big favor. Okay. Oh, what? What's that? Can you set me up with the time cards from the office? I have been so underwater. I haven't been tracking our rehearsal time. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Niobe can study the coins now, if she wants. If. She'll die when she finds out. Oh, she I don't seems want that. to care more about the art than acting. That's it on the nose. Makes rehearsals a nightmare, but I never turn down a chance to work with a true genius. True genius. That's how you describe her? Not on the stage. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Maybe not ever. But That's I've seen nice. her creeping through the museum when she thinks she's alone. She says she's taking a private class taught by the greats. Hello, everybody. So my recording software decided to get rid of the last five minutes of this episode. So unfortunately, I can't redo the dialogue. So we finished talking to Xenia, and she asked us to go and talk to Grigor and make sure that he was fulfilling all of his responsibilities. So we went to talk to him and just had some casual conversation, nothing really too big. And then we decided to come down here to the underworld and pay the ferryman and get across the river here. So we will go across now. All right. So this is the end of the video. Sorry that the last little bit got cut off. Uh, tune in tomorrow to see as we explore the rest of the underworld. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!